All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm Brian Henderson. I'm the hearing officer for this morning's administrative hearings. These hearings are being held to consider the following items, which will be heard in this order. We have citation number 2147863 and 2147753. Um, the third hearing has been canceled and will be rescheduled apparently, which was citation number 21480801 uh, and has been made clear. These hearings are being recorded. Um, so the, the individual hearings will, uh, will occur as follows. Um, I'll go ahead and read the citation and then um, those who intend to speak will be sworn in and then we'll have uh, Public Works present uh, their testimony. Um, and, and that's, you know, roughly three minutes. Uh, and then, and then uh, the, the, the appellant will have three minutes to, uh, to present testimony. And then we'll, uh, we'll uh, inquire as to public comment. And if there's no public comment, uh, we will we'll wrap up that particular hearing. So, um, and if there is, we can take that and take rebuttals. Uh, so as I call you up, please clearly state your name into the microphone, or as I call your name, please clearly state your name into the microphone or your case that is uh, before you make your presentation. So we'll go ahead and get started again with citation number 21478637, an appeal for violation of the Municipal Health Code section 280 at 1776 Oakdale Avenue. Um, so we'll, again, we'll start with uh, public works presenting. So we'll start with public, uh, our public works inspector being sworn in. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, Ms. Harris is going to be representing public works. And Ms. Harris, do you, um, do you uh, swear that the information you are about to present is uh, tr truthful to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. And you may proceed. Okay. On Wednesday, April 20th, 2022, while performing a routine inspection, I found a pile of loose papers and refuse dumped on the corner of Oakdale and Phelps. The items were addressed to occupants of 1776 Oakdale. Upon further inspection, I found labels on several of the papers and envelopes addressed to Ms. Vaughn, LaRon Wilson, and LaMaya Wilson at 1776 Oakdale, which is a duplex property, a duplex residential property located four houses from the corner where the loose, where the loose trash was strewn. I then confirmed the property is owned by Leroy Wise and Lila M. Pham Trust and verified with Recology that refuse collection service is under Leroy Wise with 64 gallon trash and recycle and 32 gallon organics served on service on Wednesday. As the letters were dumped on the public right of way a short distance from the residence, I issued a citation to the individuals whose names were found on the papers. Leron Wilson, Lamaya Wilson, and um, I'm not sure how to say the first name, but the last name is Vaughn, for violating MHC 280. Okay. Um... And uh, let's go ahead and swear our appellant in. Can the appellant, um, can you uh, test out, can you speak and can you hear us? Um, yes, I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, Ms. Vaughn, okay. Uh, do you swear the uh, information you're about to uh, uh, present is accurate and truthful to the best of your knowledge? Yes. And, and for the record, can you state your name, please? My name is Sheikah Vaughn. Okay. All right, Sheikah, um, you may proceed. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, okay, well, what she's saying is accurate, but 
I didn't throw the trash on the corner. Where I live, it's a lot of homelessness. So Mr. Wise is my landlord. Our trash goes out, like she said, April 20th, that was a Wednesday. We pull our trash out Thursday evening um, for early Wednesday morning pickup. So somewhere around do, through, oh, throughout the evening, it's always like, I thought it was raccoons at first because sometimes this isn't the first time. They go through our garbage bins. They pull the garbage out, whether it's papers, whether it's clothing. This isn't the first time that it's happened. It's just that when it happened before, it wasn't personal documentation. So I was able to sweep it up, clean it up myself. This time around, I wasn't able to get around to it. I didn't know that they took the garbage out the garbage can and they drag it and they ripped it open. And Because why would I leave my personal things? Lamaya Wilson, she's a seven-year-old. That's my daughter. So all these personal belongings were placed in a garbage bag, which was put in the trash can. But I can't help that overnight, these homeless people, whatever they're looking for, or if it's just something that they're doing, you know, just because they roam in the streets, they pull things out of bins. So I don't feel like, you know, I'm particularly, you know, responsible for their actions when I do what I'm supposed to do. I've asked for the garbage cans to be like able to where we could put a lock on it, but we can't do that because then the garbage man isn't able to unlock it and dump the trash for us. So it's like I'm in a lose-lose situation. Either I don't take my trash out or, you know, it gets ran through like that. And I'm not at home at five o'clock in the morning. I'm already off and gone by 4.45, you know? So when they get pulled out by the maintenance man, which is my landlord, Leroy Wise's nephew, he pulls the trash out. He line them up and that's how he does it. He does it every Tuesday evening. So Wednesday morning, the trash can be, you know, dumped. You have 30 and, seconds. And so basically that's how, you know, my all my personal belongings information was, few houses down from my house because that's I, where they took yeah I'm, I'm getting the picture here i have a feeling that public works may have a response for you um and it's probably something we can you know work through but let me let me uh get a response from public works on this one so i just want to advise miss wilson that that um lock service is available um you you would arrange that with the garbage company and they can definitely give you bins that um that lock okay. and, that they, and that they have the keys to it is a service yes. that costs money so i don't know if you would pay for that or your landlord but i mean um it could be a either or type of situation whichever is going to alleviate me having to pay fines and fees <laughs> yes yes so the locking definitely coordinate with public works to get uh, or with recology or the service to get uh, to get the locks mm -hmm. i think that that would probably solve at least the immediate problem right and, okay. uh, and then there's also inside service i'm not quite sure if your if your unit has a garage or not but if they do and you prefer to store, the, store them in the garage instead of a lock service, then um, the garbage company can come inside to get to get the bins and service them and put them back. Oh, OK. OK. And and is this a first offense? Correct. I don't yes. have I don't have any other um, history. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me inquire as to public comment. Do we have any public comment? And I'll have to rely back on our moderator to, to yes, confirm. It, um, if you have any public comment, please use the raise your hand feature. Um, I don't believe there's anyone from the public besides uh, Ms. Vaughn on the call or on the uh, meeting. So we'll. And uh, yeah, can you tell if there's anybody else? Yes, I am. Yes, yeah, and there's nobody else listening in. There's no okay, 
So I'm going to assume there is no public comment then. Uh, yes. Uh, so Sheikha, if you uh, are able to address this problem that you're having with, with the service provider and, and maybe even coordinate with public works if you you know, if you think you need to, there's an open line of communication. Our public works is very good at, uh, at working with, with residents to help address these problems. I, I am not going to penalize you at, at this stage. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, if, if, if you show up again, I, I'm afraid I would be forced to. So please, uh, okay. please, please work closely with, uh, with, 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 again, the... Uh, the service provider and public works. So uh, thank okay. you for uh, thank you, you so know, much for, for for helping to keep the keep the neighborhood clean. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, thank alrighty. you. All right. Okay, so we're about five minutes early for our next appellant. Uh, okay. Don't seem to be on, or are they? I don't see them on, but. Wait until ten fifteen. Yep. Okay. Um, I am once again going to be on standby. Uh, when they come on, I will unmute and uh, turn my camera back on. Just let me know. Okay. And just so everyone knows, we're still recording, but we are. Um, there is no uh, members of the public in this. It's just uh, Brian, Ennis, um, Ennis, Ian, and Niall, and myself. Oh, we do have Ian on. Yes. Yeah, Ian, your case was canceled, it sounds like. Yes, I'm still observing, though. Okay. I, su I support all of Enos's uh, reporting and advice. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. All righty, guys. Well, it's good to see you all back in action here. Yeah. Well, uh, will... Did uh, Niall, did you say... Well, the last one was canceled, but do we have any communication with um, the appellant for 10 15, at 1015? Um, I do. Did you, oh, okay. to, did you want me to reach out to her to see if she can join the early? Uh, she has a few more minutes. Yeah, no, 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 she, that's not necessary. I just wanted to um, at least be on the lookout to see when she joins. Yes, and she also emailed me some materials that she would like me to show on her behalf. Um, okay, and you probably emailed them to me earlier, didn't you? No, I have them. Okay, do you want to email them to me now? Because that sure. way I can put them on the screen. Sure. Awesome. Thank you. A little proactiveness. See if we can be <laughs> we can be efficient today. <laughs> All right, Clinton, I sent it to you. And there it is. So.
Okay, I have it ready to put up on the screen. It looks like she has some emails um, from 311 and from Ecology, um, but I don't see anyone. Correct. That's, that's only a message she sent me. Okay. No, I'm just saying I don't see anybody joining us just yet. But it is a minute early. Do I have the uh, paperwork to fill out yet at this stage? Has it has that been emailed to me? Yes. Okay. And who did that come from? Oh, me. From Niall. All right, Niall. Thank you. No problem. Do we have a protocol, Niall, for how long we wait for the appellant? What do you normally do, Brian? Um, typically, if they run a little bit late, I'll give them a call. Um, yeah, I, I'd say go ahead and call them at this stage. Hello, this is Niall. I have her on the phone now. She's trying to join as we speak. I just want to give you an update. Uh, I'm going to go back to speaking to her on the phone. Okay, sounds good. And then I'll be ready when we're good to go. I should have asked uh, Niall if she needs a, an invite link or something, anything we can do to assist.
we can also give her dial in instructions if she would, wants to dial in dial. Oh, there she is. Okay. Um, is it Teonia? If you are on, I see you're on the call. If you would just, um, actually, you don't have to mute or unmute or anything. Just speak if you are present. The appellant. Teonia. Okay, I just hung up with her. I do see that she's um, attended. She is, she is present. I just, I haven't. Uh, so Teonia, if you're uh, present, you are allowed to speak. Uh, you're, Hi. there you are. Hello. Hi. I can't hear you guys very well. Uh, you got Tiana, can you hear me? This is Niall. Yeah, I hear you, but it sounds like you're very far away. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a connection issue. Um, I, I seem to be able to hear you very clearly. Okay. Okay. As as can I. So, uh, are you able to hear me at all? Yes, Tiana? I can hear. Okay, and and is that how you pronounce your name, uh, Tiana? It's Tiana. Tiana. Okay. Thank you, Tiana. Okay, so uh, so I'm Brian Henderson, the hearing officer uh, for this morning's hearing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read your citation and then give Public Works uh, a few minutes to present their testimony, and then it'll be your turn to present your testimony. Okay. All right. Uh, so here we go. We have citation number 21477534, an appeal for violation of the Municipal Health Code section 280 at uh, 1551 Oakdale Avenue. And, and I would like to start by actually, uh, Public Works has been sworn in already, so we're, we're going to go ahead and swear you in, uh, Tiana. Okay. Okay, Tiana, do you... Um, so the uh, testimony and information you are about to present is truthful to the best of your knowledge. Yes. And you are here representing uh, citation 214 or for uh, appellant for citation 21477534, correct? Yes. Okay, thank you. I also have your information that you emailed Niall that I can put up on the screen when you're ready, but we'll let public works go for it. Okay, and let's go ahead and start with Public Works. On Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, while investigating a service request complaint, I discovered a number of items dumped on the sidewalk and street in front of 1551 Oakdale. Upon further inspection, I found items addressed to Tiana, Tiana uh, Serreris, and occupants of 1551 Oakdale Avenue, which is the property where the items were placed. I then confirmed the property owner, the property is owned by Joshua Bingham and determined that this unit did not have recology service. As the scene appeared to be a result of a move out and identification was found to the tenant listed on the lease found, I issued a citation to the adult whose name was found on the papers. Tiana Serreris, as well as the owner of the property, Joshua Bingham, for violating MHC 280. Following the issuance of the citation, the former tenant approached me stating that she placed the items out neatly, but people added to it and pilfered through it. She said she moved March 30th, um, this so a few days before. I reminded her to schedule a BIC with the garbage company prior to putting items out in the future. Okay. Uh, Tiana, go ahead and start your, your rebuttal uh, by stating your name for the record. Yes, my name is Tiana Carreras. And so I guess I would like to say that, you know, I requested this hearing because as um, 
what was her name that just spoke? Enos. Enos. Yes, as Enos said, um, you know, I was issued a citation and, you know, um, before, before that citation, I, I, first of all, I noticed that Enos said that I, I didn't have recology services at the 11551 Oakdale, which that was not true. I did have recology services. I was paying monthly garbage bills for the four months that I resided at that address. So I did have garbage um, uh, services and I also had garbage bins in front of my address. Um, but I would like to say that, you know, I did not leave the, the, the stuff out there like that. I placed them out there nice and neatly in bags and there was... Um, a bulk load, um, you know, that I um, requested to for the recology to pick up because they had that was my second load. The the one that was there, that was my second load. The first one, recology actually did come and pick it up in time, but the second one that I put out, they never came to get it, and I guess they never came because um the the, the homeless people started straggling through it and you know messing it up every day that I would look out there because it took me two or three days to move my things out of that place. So every day that I would come, you know, I would see different people with different bags and they're pulling them here and there across the street, up the street, and they're just going through the stuff. And, you know, I continue, I made several calls to uh, Recology to find out why no one has come to pick up. And they told me, you know, at this point um, that I would need to call to have um, DPW to pick it up because it was just too much. Uh, the, you know, the people had torn all up apart like that. And so I contacted 311 and made a call to them to say, you know, can you guys arrange for a DPW to pick up this large amount of trash because, um, you know, I'm moving out and I noticed that the homeless people has come and tore the trash all apart. And so they said that they were making arrangements for that to happen. So I don't never, the city never came and did their part, but I, I didn't place it out like that. Okay. Any, uh, any response from public works? Yeah, I just want to say that on the day that I was there, which was the fifth, Recology, the service, they said you didn't have service, presumably because it had been closed. Uh, your account probably ended at the end of March, but on that day, they said that you did not have service. Well, I'm and, not aware of that, ma'am, because I made my payments up to date. And um, they also they, they also sent me back a refund because, you know, um, my pay, I made, I made the payments, you know, for my recology. And I guess because I moved out before my, um, my bill was, was due or something, they, they sent me a refund for the rest of my services. But that was not to my knowledge that I didn't have any more services because like I said, they just came and picked up my first boat load the day or two days before that, that second load was put out. So I'm not sure. I had no idea that, that I didn't have any more services. Okay. And did Public Works ultimately clean this up? Do we know? Do we know how it got cleaned up? Uh, I did call. I, I asked for, um, I did ask the supervisor to send the crew over there. So presumably that was the, re that was how it was cleaned up. Okay. All right. Any, uh, is there any public comment? Any public on the line? Let's get confirmation. There is no public on the line. And I just wanted to give the appellant uh, the information that she shared with us uh, on the screen at the moment. Uh, if you have any questions about that or want to put that. Your bulky item recycle request was received. All right. Uh, go, scroll down a little bit. Okay, these are just the guidelines, the standard guidelines. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, does anybody have any uh, anything else to add? I just um, I was looking at the dates here. So there was one that that was on the first. Is that right, Niall? And then the other one was actually on the fifth. Is that right? Well, from what I see, that is correct. Okay, so those are the two. Okay. So the day that I was there was on the 5th. All right. So there was a request on the 5th for Recology to pick this up? No, the date, the, the date says that the Recology should have been there to pick it up on the 5th, but I scheduled that before the 5th. I believe I made the, the, the um, request on the 3rd or the 4th or something like that. So the day they were supposed to pick up was the 5th. 
So, okay. so it seems like they were supposed to be there and they didn't come. Right, sir. That's what I'm saying. I did my part. I did everything that I knew to do. Schedule for them to come pick up and, you know, put the sign out there saying recology. That's what I did. They never came to get it. Everybody saw and, up and as I see you removing the recology sign. So I did my part. I, you know, I'm a single mama, sir. I have eight children. So I did all this moving alone by myself with my children. We would never leave the trash out there like that. We put it in, in bags and it was a lot of dressers and, you know, headboards and things like that. So it really was, you know, nothing that, that I left out there that could have left a mess like that. But like I said, I noticed because I continued to drive past and looking at it like, wow, they still didn't come get the trash, mm -hmm. you know? And as I do that, I noticed a lot of other people were adding things too on top of what I had left out there. So like I said, I didn't leave that like that. I would never represent myself like that. So, you know, and as you can see, I did make the attempts to have the trash picked up because I don't, I don't operate like that. So I just looks like we're trash getting trash acknowledged from public like works that, that, that is the case, that they agree with you. Taking the pictures. Because, you know, I was able to, you know, tell her my, my story too, that I didn't leave that like that and, you know, this and that and the third, but I, I submitted my documents that I did make arrangements to have that picked up before it got out of hand like that. Yeah, we we spoke um, at the scene. Um, after after I after I issued the citation, I spoke with her and she explained these things. So I asked her. I told her to make sure that, that she that she saves um, the the evidence that that she submitted for um, for the the cleanup. But the dates that she gave me, I'm pretty sure um, when I asked her, I thought she said it was on the Friday before. And I think the the larger issue is that the items were just put out too early. Um, to allow for that type of um, mess that was evident when people kind of going through it and tearing it up and also adding to it. Um, I'm, I'm not well, sure how she out too early because I was moving out. I moved out on the 31st mm -hmm. of March. Okay. Right. That's the day I moved out of the place. That okay. was my move out day. So I okay. moved out on that day. I did not move out on the 30th. I moved out on the 31st. Okay. And the day that I moved out, I started making my arrangements to have my bulky items picked up. So I'm, that's, that's what I did. I moved out on the 31st. The bulky, the first bulky item of reservation was made on April 1st. The second one was made on April 3rd or the 4th. So, because I, it took me two days to move out of there. So that's why you see April 3rd or 4th was the second bulky load of items. Okay. I mean, obviously, this is this is a problem exacerbated by our current societal issues. So, um, I yeah, I I'm not going to penalize you. Um, I, obviously, I think we learn we we have a lesson here that uh, I, I mean, you leave anything out for any extended period of time, it's it's right. th this can happen. So we all need to work together to try to prevent it, present it. And I think that you've gone above and beyond trying to do that, uh, Tiana. So I appreciate, you. I appreciate your efforts. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if you're still living in the neighborhood, know that this is an issue and, uh, and definitely be open to coordinating with public works uh, in case you have a similar situation down the road. Yes, I will do so, sir. Thank you. All righty. I have a um, comment. I have a comment. Yeah, uh, so, yes, there's not an aisle assignment public works. Uh, Tiana has also went ahead and paid the citation already um, in good faith. And so if this is officially dismissed, Tiana, for the record, I will do want to let you know that we will process a reimbursement on your behalf. OK. Yes. And I am dismissing this one. So. OK. So once, to... once again, Tiana, thank you for 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 trying your best here. Uh, and and knowing that uh, we yeah again we all need to work together to try to yes. try to make things better so I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. All righty, um, um, Brian. We do have uh, an additional uh, a person from the public if we want to open it for public comment. Oh sure, yeah, absolutely. If we have public comment, please uh, let's let's go ahead and invite for public up. comment again. So it looks like it's a Mr. Kim uh, and Andrew Kim. If you would like to speak or make a public comment now is the moment. You'll need to use the raise your hand feature and then unmute your microphone if you want to make public comment. I actually think that this person surprisingly is the 1030 slot that I thought was canceled. That 
I was emailed that they wanted to reschedule. Um, so. Okay. Uh, well, if we're, if, if um, Brian, if we're, if I believe proceed, we should proceed then, right? Uh, if we're ready to take another case, I, first of all, I'd like to, you know, to dismiss you honor Diana. Or if, hello? Hi. Yeah. Hi, my name is Andrew Kim, but I cannot make it a long time. So that's why uh, I like to have them um, uh, maybe another time because, you know, I'm, I'm at work, so I can't, I cannot have them. So, um, yeah, I think public works has agreed to go ahead and reschedule you. Uh, is that correct? That is correct, sir. I yeah. will be sending you an email with the revised date and time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. And Tiana, you can go. You're done. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you, Tiana. Okay, so that uh, would conclude the public comment portion. We have no one from the public present. Um, uh, in that case, uh, that concludes our hearings and I will uh, plan on getting the paperwork back uh, to Niall uh, and anybody else in the email chain uh, that, that needs it. Um, I'm actually